I am going to discuss you about the middleware. What is actually the middleware? Middleware is a way of filtering the HTTP request that go through your application. Middleware can be used to perform various types of tasks, for example, authentication, authorization, uh, then login, input validation, etc. There are many types of middleware. I am going to discuss you about the global middleware. Global middleware is that middleware which is executed with every HTTP request that passes through the application. These are applied globally across the whole application and can be used for tasks such as authenticating the user session or setting up the CSRF token or CSRF protection etc. This middleware classes are actually registered into the kernel that I will show you. So let's start to check it. I am going the in the terminal to create my new global middleware. So here I will have to run php artisan this command and then make middleware. You know when I created the controller I use the common make controller and in the case of middleware I will just use make middleware. Then I will have to give the name for the middleware. For example, I am going to give a name for a middleware that is test. So just press enter. What is actually happened in the F folder, HTTP folder, you will see that there is a middleware folder. And here this file has been created now that is test.php when I run this command. If I go here, then you will see that this is the file content which file has been created and this is the middleware class and this is the important section here that is before the handle before handle the request so handle is the function and here you see that this is the request the main request starts from here now what actually will be i have to go into the kernel.php and into the kernel.php you will see that there are many types of middleware as i will i am going to show you the global middleware here you see that this middleware are run during every request to application check this line that means this is the middleware that is global middleware because here it is said that these middlewares are run during every request to your application so a list has been given here all the middleware when your application uh, starts that means when you run your laravel application then automatically this middleware runs and it will check everything for you so here what i am going to do i am going to copy any one from here and paste it here then i give here the name that is test that means I am going to register my newly created middleware here. That is the location app HTTP middleware and then test. You see that here app HTTP middleware and then test. So I tell the system that with all other things you also run this one this, that I have created right now. So when your application will run it will check in this location. For example, I am going to show here something, uh, my name, what will be happened? If I now run the application, you will see that my name is showing fast because this middleware automatically runs. So when I, if I go to any view or any route, just it will run fast. And in all the cases, you will see this one as the output. If I go to my route and here if I define it home, home view and here in the view if I create, create here home.blade.php and write something here like home page. Okay. So now home page will load this one. So refresh. You see that my actual view content is home page but this one is showing here that means that will run fast this file will run fast before running any route because middlewares run fast 
which middleware that is global middleware all the middleware all the middleware have their specific task and with that the newly created middleware that i created this one will also run i hope you have understood the basic of it uh, middleware actually run for authentication authorization etc for example if i do a, a simple authentication for example the current date right the current year in php if we want to show then that is uh, y right if i show year now you will see that the current year will be shown 2023 now you can check it like this if the year not equal to for example 2023 then it will be exit uh, or not equal to 22 for example now in, uh, this is the year 23 the website that i made is only for the year 2022 so as now this is not 2022 it will exit so you cannot see any other page i just stop it so here you can only see this website 1 2022 now what will happen now if you go here refresh you will see that you cannot see the main website you see that the view is not showing here because i stop it you can only see the website on 2022 so if you create any other route other page for example here just skip it but there is a route for example about now if i want to show the about you see that is it is still showing and in the about if you write something that will not be shown for example here return this is about this refresh it is not showing that means about or any other route that means your application your applications all the route if you want to check any route then it will not work because in the middleware i put a condition here if just i remove the condition for example if the year uh, equal equal 2022 that means only for that 2022 it will not be shown otherwise it will be shown as now this is 2023 so it will be shown and this will be skipped and here the response in this position my co co compiler will come and it will show the result so refresh now everything is normal if i go here this is about this so it is working so this is actually the task of middleware and i hope you have understood this thing very well